Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another product review, this time on a Rogem portable speaker. Now this model number is HBPC1602B, comes in a pretty big box so it's kind of hard to see everything on the camera, but in any case, let's go ahead and open this up and see what's in. Now I want to thank Banggood for sending me this to review comes in these additional colors as far as the outside of the box or should I say tube so you have your choice the one that I have here is of course marked black so we'll get to open it and as we could see it comes in a so let me go ahead and get this out of the box and we'll go from there okay I've taken it out of the box and uh, just wanted to go over some of the accessories that come with a manual here comes with a wall charger comes with an aux cord here and it comes with a shoulder strap or you can call it a carrying strap what the strap other, looks long enough to where you can definitely use it for your shoulders all right so let's go ahead and get the plastic off of this thing here I'm just looking over the unit here it's got a uh, cloth or a velvet and vinyl outside pretty nice it's got some feet here on the bottom they are rubber and lay it flat so it doesn't roll around and here's the front these are the main full range drivers here and you've got subwoofers here five 0.25 there on the each ends and you've got micro SD card play your music straight from the SD card kind of nice or you can do the same for the USB has the auxiliary input has the microphone input which is the bigger jacked and then you have the power where you're going to charge this unit. Now this is the master volume here and this is the subwoofer volume. Just kind of look at that, kind of show you up front there, see the subwoofers there. Try to show you up front the drivers in there. Foam surround on all the drivers. Alright, okay, so now that we've gone over the basics of this speaker, let's go ahead and turn it on here. It always starts off on Bluetooth mode, so we're going to go ahead and get that started here. Bluetooth mode. So it lets you know which mode you're in here. As you can see here, there are LED lights that shine on the speakers, which is actually pretty nice. Now, it looks like the LEDs face inward towards the, the woofers. Kind of see them changing color there. So it's pretty interesting. So now we're going to go ahead and use the included aux cord here. And we're going to play some music through this thing and see how it sounds. AUX mode. So whenever you plug in the aux cord it will automatically change to that device which is actually pretty nice because it's automatic. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to play some stuff here okay now you can turn off these LEDs on the drivers by pushing and holding the mode button once you do that LEDs are off probably gonna save you on battery power as well but in any case if you don't want to see that type of 
of display on your unit you can go ahead and turn it off it's actually pretty cool so now I'm going to zoom down to the display there as you can see it says line for line in auxiliary I've got the mp3 player hooked up here so we're going to play some non copyrighted music here I'm going to start off with an instrumental it's got some nice nice bass to it up and down the bass level that's without any bass at all now we're going to add bass to it That's pretty impressive. Uh, it's got a lot of nice bottom end on there. Now, as far as it being a full range sound, there's no tweeters in this, so it's not going to be super crisp and detailed. But they do have a nice full range sound on these front smaller drivers, so it's probably a combination of mid and tweet. Uh, all the drivers move quite a bit, so you're getting a lot of air movement on the drivers. Um, as far as the unit itself, it feels pretty rugged. It is plastic here. It's got some covers on it so you don't put your fingers or your kids don't put the fingers through the drivers. Um, all in all, a pretty nice unit. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and try the Bluetooth out and see how that does. Bluetooth mode. Okay, now that I've got the my cell phone plugged in, we're going to go ahead and turn on the Bluetooth here. Okay, so now that I've got the Bluetooth connected to my cell phone, we're going to play some more instrumental tracks because copyright. Don't want any problems with that. So we're going to go ahead and turn on another song here. And let's hear how it sounds. pretty loud.
Okay. Well, it's definitely feature packed. Um, it's got a lot of options to be able to play your songs on. Um, that's pretty impressive. Um, let me go ahead and turn this off here. Now this also has FM, so we're going to go ahead and turn it on here. We're going to do, see if it'll pick up any stations here. Bluetooth mode. Now, now it's on Bluetooth mode right now, so we're going to go and click the FM radio. FM mode. All right. Turning up the volume here a little bit. Attitudes and opinions of people around the world, I think at least 40 countries, and your conclusion is mind-blowingly depressing. It seems you've concluded that much of... Okay, final thoughts. Feels like a pretty rugged unit. Um, it doesn't feel too heavy on the shoulders if you were to carry it around for a little while. Probably weighs about maybe seven to eight pounds, which is not a lot of weight for a, a portable like this. Uh, speakers are well covered. I don't see any way of getting damage to them. Feel like they're uh, polypropylene. So not a paper or anything like that so they look like they're going to have some a little bit of water resistance to them as well as the ones in the frontier as far as sound quality it's pretty good uh i've kind of surprised for these being as small as they are they produce a good full mid-range on there the highs aren't super crisp if you had a dedicated tweeter it'd probably be a little bit better but the woofers here and the five and a half inch woofers here on the sides, uh, they produce pretty good bass. Um, I was really surprised with that. So bass is probably the best thing on this unit. As far as the features, everything on this unit, my wife liked this so much that she's kind of taken ownership of it after I'm done with the review. So uh, as far as the price is concerned, uh, Banggood right now, we're selling these here for under $60, and we are working to get a discount code for these, uh, but at the moment the discount cannot be applied because it's still in contact with the actual manufacturer of this speaker. So once that is done, I will post uh, discount codes in the link in the descriptions down below. Now the uniqueness with this being a tube is definitely going to stand out because most of your boom box are square and long and narrow or but this being an actual base tube very nice with the unique two woofer design now my understanding is that the subwoofers are 15 watts and then each one of these are 10 watts so that's quite a bit of power uh, it having a digital amplifier in it, of course, it's going to have some pretty good loudness. Uh, overall, not a bad sounding unit. Um, I can't say anything bad about it. I uh, wish it kind of had maybe some tweeters in there to give you a little bit better uh, high end on that. Now, these speakers do provide pretty good full range sound. And I've really got to say that the bottom end on these subwoofers is pretty... Pretty nice.
got to say that. And I put the strap on there. Uh, it is adjustable so you can make it longer or you can make it shorter to make it a shorter handle for your boom box. Got it about right there. Feels pretty good. I think that's going to be fine. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these type of boom boxes to you. Bluetooth, that is, in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.